welcome it's the soul family read here in the urban jungles cancun mexico there's a there's one house between us and they're building another like a house here in this neighborhood so you may hear some pounding hope we won't be too bad uh i i got kind of late today i try to get started before they do but i actually went for a walk so that was good it's the first time i felt good enough to do that this is the classic Gilded Tarot. Um, this is uh, what I learned from. You know, it was my first deck that I got in that box. Not that box. <laughs> um, uh, but then I got another one uh, later and brought it brand new to Mexico. And I've been here for two years using it very carefully. Not that often. Um, but my favorite deck here, uh, Gilded Tarot. So I just want to do uh, the four card read for today, the 3rd of November. Soul Family Collective Read, Terrence McKenna, Find the Others, Spirituality, Manifestation, Love, Romance. Try to focus right now a little more on ourselves here. It's not a uh, love reading. This is a uh, reading about what's going on kind of internally. We're walking right up to this new moon. It's on my Venus at 12 degrees Scorpio. This ain't playing. And I'm good. I'm good. I'm going. I'm there. <laughs> I think, you know. Um, so it's been a lot of blessings it can be kind of dark can be, it's going to be intense I think that's the thing like uh, intense I'm being some Scorpio so it's in my belly way bring it it's the way I want it right yeah it's almost can be painful it's so intense that kind of energy in Scorpio Let's see what we got for today on the bottom of the deck. Queen of Cups. That's very reassuring to me. Um, that's us, you know, as an overall energy. Um, and I think that's true if you're watching this old family read, this collective read. I think it could be for people who manifest, people who consider themselves light workers, empaths, energy workers. Um, let's see what we got to go with this and where we're at right now seven of cups so we're the queen of cups and we're kind of in this seven of cups energy so imagine the queen of cups uh someone they really know their emotions the master i'd see even more than the male the male might be more likely to maybe project or something passive aggressive uh, this is almost like this perfect emotional energy mastering emotions being open strong emotionally understanding emotionally intelligent um, but here where we're at right now this is not us it's kind of the energy we're in right now is emotionally with a little bit of turmoil maybe options what is emotional options you know um, could be beginning to see that uh, certain things make us feel a certain way particularly for impasse this is a constant revelation through life. You know, early in class, I uh, usually can get uh, just uh, really worn out, you know, by being just open all the time. Um, so this could be something like that. This could be just emotionally uh, being a little overwhelmed, a little too open. It's not really a grounded feeling, you know. Think of the Six of Cups, it's so much not, it is grounded, it's emotionally feeling warm and nostalgic because it feels good. And for a Queen of Cups, this is a concern because emotions are your belly wick as the Queen of uh, Cups here. And now, emotionally, you're feeling a little fuzzy and not certain. So family, this is what's blocking us. This is the Good Craftsman card always positive card someone who is the glass blower's glass blower the jeweler that other jewelers go to when they want something serious for their own you know, wedding or benefit but now think of this energy being in reverse we're either refusing because pinnacles are pretty strong so we're either refusing to put energy and put work into something that we need to put it into. Or maybe if you take these two together, it's being a little overwhelmed and maybe confused a little bit as to where exactly to put our work. 
you know, you only have so many hours a day. Um, you only have so much energy, um, so many resources. And this is uh, being in the blocking position, not using them in the best way. That's also six house energy, daily routine, schedules, um, not being there. Let's see what the advice is going to be from Spirit. Look at that. From the Three of Pentacles to the Four of Swords. So it's still in some, some state of healing. This is advice from Spirit. Um, I'll tell you what this is, guys. There's a, something that needs to be decided here for, for you. Um, it's, uh, it could be something about a person. Um, but there's... Give yourself time with this four swords four more months maybe to heal going into spring boy is it going to be different like overall energy uh, i think uh, 2022 it's going to be rocking and rolling personally and, and collectively um so it's like kind of give yourself time um it's almost too i get the feeling of like um you know, you're 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 normally the Queen of Pentacles. You're emotionally, you're cold, peaceful. I'm feeling this. I'd like to read myself in. There's some kind of got you a little royal. There's something kind of uh, uh, on the castle walls of your peace. You know, kind of you can feel it out there, beating against the outer walls or something. Um, and this could be too, just not wanting to give energy to it or refusing to give energy to it. And I almost think that's good because our advice is we need this still time to heal. So I overall I get like this is a, um, like a procrast an advice here is to procrastinate. The advice here is like okay you're queen of pentacles everything's okay right? You don't have to make any big decisions. Um, you don't have to deal with anything no matter how intense and spiritual it might be, emotional it might be, demanding it might feel. You can let it all go and give yourself the healing over the next few months, maybe a month to four months, four weeks to four months time. And the Ace of Swords is the outcome. So what we're going to get out of this is absolute clarity. And that's basically when we'll know. Now, so what is this? Again, that emotional fuzziness what is that cuts right through it Whoosh, hot knife through butter and there is no more fuzzy now you know the queen of, of um, cups here you could say she picks up the sword now as well so um, in the end when the healing's done and we cut through this it's gonna be like really being able uh, not just emotionally but uh, verbally and our own minds um, in terms of communication uh, making it very clear you know what our boundaries are right um, and be willing to uh, be push for it I mean it's amazing how much it just will cut right through whatever this is you know and bring uh, this kind of clarity to us so let me know what you think of that guys share this uh, if you can think of any platform that you know shareable that might be relevant um, uh, just to uh, you know share the soul family read and do check out the heart spread for who's on your mind or the singles if uh, you're absolutely totally and completely single meet soulmate reads uh, which i do every sign uh, every week thank you guys